Today we're going to hardware review the MSI GS65 Stealth. Let's go! This is the late 2019 i7-9750H with a 1660Ti GPU. Inside I found it has pretty simple packaging, but there's a product warranty registration card, and a few instruction manuals, but we're not going to read those. I will say MSI has a very good reputation for their hardware, and the packaging was very well put together. The frame itself is not plastic, it's actually a metal alloy. On the side you have a USB 3.0, USB-C, mini display port, HDMI 2.0, the power input, and some vents. Turning to the other side you have the Ethernet port, two USB 3.0, the headphone and microphone inputs. On the back side there's no inputs, simply two vents for air circulation. It is fairly light at only 4.4 pounds, which is remarkable for a 15.6 inch display laptop with a high-end GPU. It's a really great display at 144 hertz. This black film is actually a cleaning cloth, which is great because the frame tends to get fingerprints. And they also included enough stickers for a preschool. The mouse trackpad is quite large, which I found very usable and had no issues with multi-touch. The full RGB backlit keyboard is fantastic. Key travel distance is great. It was a very positive experience with the key mouse trackpad. All of the external hardware are very well built, so let's open it up and take a look on the inside. For this project, I'm gonna use this anti-static mat with a magnetic header. I found this to be one of the best and most inexpensive, so I'll have it linked below. The underside of this laptop is metal with air vents that suck in the air. The back plate is very thin, so I'll want to be careful not to bend it. I'll use a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the screws around the outside edge. Luckily all the screws are uniform, so it makes it much easier to keep track of them. For most laptops, I just need to remove the screws around the outside edge. This one actually has screws in the middle and underneath the factory seal. Once the screws are out, I take my spudget tools and remove the back plate. Now inside is a protective anti-static barrier. It's held down by a sticky film, so I simply lift up to remove it. Be careful not to tear it while lifting it out. Now the internals of this look overwhelming. To ease the tension, I'm gonna need some help from Mr. Sanderson. Hopefully Wayne helps lighten things up. With that started, let's take a look at the components. I'll need to first remove these ribbon cables, followed by these three screws. You can't just pull out the cables. You have to undo the latch found at the top, locate the latch, and carefully pull up. Be careful not to bend the metal pins. Remove the yellow tape, then use a non-scratching tool to pull out the ribbon cables. Here I pull off the Wi-Fi card antenna, then remove the rest of the ribbon cables. Then I remove the screws next to the fans. Then remove the screw on the bottom of the Wi-Fi card. This one was pretty hard to get out, so be careful not to strip it. Slowly pull the Wi-Fi card out, and here you can see the two circles where the antenna connect. Remove the tape on the antenna wires, and lift them up so they can slide through the hole later. And don't forget the final ribbon cable on the top. Now on the right side, I went and removed the tape that was holding down the final ribbon cable, and gently pulled it up so that it was free from the fan. Next, remove the black tape over the USB ports and any other yellow tape. Now, at this point, you can remove the two power supply cables on the bottom or just carefully flip it over like I did. Make sure to push the antenna through before flipping it all the way. Now, this is the other side of the power cable. Looking back, it's probably a better idea that I remove it. If you try to remove the motherboard without detaching these two parts, it could damage it significantly. Now, here, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your hard drive. It has the capacity for two NVMe drives. Here I removed the screw and had to pull up as there was a sealant on the other side. This is likely a heat sink and could be removed if needed. With those removed, you can see the two RAM ports and the two NVMe ports. This is the hard drive we're gonna put in. It's a XPG SX8200 Pro. I think it's the best value for your dollar. It has a write speed of 3000 megabits a second. And I picked this up for about $115. I 
I put it in the same place where I pulled out the first one. I'm going to do a clean install of Windows, otherwise I would put it into the second drive. Here's a close-up of what the XPG M.2 drive looks like. Notice the notch on the end that tells me it's an M.2 drive. If you go with another brand, make sure to get NVMe, not SATA 3. To install, simply slide it in at an angle until it clicks, push down, and screw it in. With those set, I'm ready to put everything back together. Make sure to feed the antenna through, just like before, and carefully pull out the ribbon cable with tweezers. I slide the antenna cables through the notch here, and replace the Wi-Fi card. Make sure that the battery cables are lined up or aren't stuck underneath the motherboard. Again, line up the antennae and put them into the two circles on the Wi-Fi card. It is a little tricky putting back the ribbon cables. I found a good technique was to hold both sides and slide it in or hold the blue top with tweezers and push the back in with your finger. Make sure to get the two screws. We'll do a double check that we have everything connected. We have the USB ports, the ribbon cable, Wi-Fi card and antenna, more ribbon cables, the power supply, the two screws, and of course the ribbon cable on the top. Everything looks good, so we'll put the tape on, followed by the anti-static guard. Next we put on the back casing, and push on the edge until you hear a click. Put in all the screws, double check the back hinge is set by pushing firmly until it clicks. Looks great, and our teardown is done. MSI has done a great job on the GS65 Stealth. I highly recommend this laptop. Check out my other videos for more teardowns. Thanks for watching.